Hello everyone. How are you doing? I'm Sign One News anchor, Jadeep Gore. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Tornadoes have left a trail of destruction across the southeastern part of the U.S. More than 40 tornadoes were reported in Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Mississippi over the past two days. The storms flattened homes, flipped cars, and knocked out power for nearly 50,000 people. The severe weather system has also killed at least three people and injured many more. And the threat isn't over yet. More than 15 million people in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas could experience severe weather today, Thursday. Sign One News will post any emergency weather press conferences with sign language interpretation to keep viewers in the path of the storms informed and safe. The White House is warning of a possible COVID-19 winter surge. The Biden administration is urging Americans to socialize safely during family holiday gatherings and encouraging people to get vaccinated and booster shots. The administration is also restarting the free at-home COVID-19 test program. Each American household can order up to four free tests from covidtests.gov. The Senate passed a bill Wednesday night to ban TikTok from U.S. government devices. The No TikTok on Government Devices Act passed by unanimous consent. The video app has more than 1 billion users worldwide. But there are fears the Chinese government could misuse customers' data. The Trump administration threatened to ban the app over national security concerns in 2020. Also, several states' attorneys general are urging Apple and Google to stop labeling TikTok as teen appropriate in their app stores. The group says TikTok's content has a lot of controversial content that involves drugs, alcohol, sexual content, and eating disorders. So far, there's been no comment from Apple, Google, or TikTok. Actor Brendan Fraser is perhaps best known for the Mummy adventure films. But a new dramatic role is possibly making him an Oscar contender. Fraser plays a 600 pound man attempting to reconcile with his estranged daughter in the drama The Whale. Fraser had to suffer through four hours of makeup to transform into the character. He says he now has more respect and understanding of people who live with obesity. His performance is earning standing ovations at film festivals 
and generating Oscar buzz for the actor. He says he's been overwhelmed by all of the accolades. The men's World Cup final is set. In the first semifinal match, Argentina defeated Croatia 3 to nothing. Lionel Messi scored his 11th FIFA World Cup goal and now owns the country's record for the most goals scored in the tournament. Argentina will face defending World Cup champs, France. Football fans in France celebrated in the streets the team's 2-0 win over Morocco. Now France has a chance to become the first side to retain the World Cup title since Brazil did it 60 years ago. The Grinch won't be stealing Christmas this year. Instead, he'll be spending the holiday season at a Minnesota jail. The Anoka County Sheriff's Department shared these photos on social media of the Grinch's arrest. The sheriff says for years the Grinch has disguised himself as Santa, broken into homes, and stolen everything. The Grinch now faces charges of identity theft and burglary. The sheriff says having the Grinch behind bars will ensure all families have a wonderful time of year. He hopes the Grinch takes the time to reflect and let his heart grow and embrace the Christmas spirit. But check out this story. A family in Illinois are big fans of Christmas and the story of the Grinch. So, with the help of a dog groomer, they turned their schnauzer, Rizzo, into their very own Dr. Seuss character. They used a vegan, non-toxic, pet safe dye to turn their dog Grinch green. The family says Rizzo's temporary transformation has brought joy to people all over the world through social media. Aww. So cute. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.